Hey guys, Nomus RC. I'm not much for uh, unboxing videos, but this one, it's already been unboxed, but I just kind of put it together. I don't have any of the screws in it or anything like that. Um, at first glance, really, really decent uh, build quality for the money that you pay. It's 200 bucks uh, and it's bind and fly. Uh, most of this all comes pre-assembled up here. All you had to do is just snap some stuff together and put some screws in. Um, cool thing though about this particular model is you have flaps and ailerons. So that's a nice little bonus. You wind up having, is it six servos? And then a motor. So you may need some extra channels uh, on your radio. I'm not sure yet. I haven't set it up on my uh, TS-16. But we will see. I really, really like the landing gear. It's aluminum. These are plastic. And it's got nice little wheels under there. It seems like it's going to ride really well on a, on a runway or on light grass. Um, but I'm very excited to get this kit in the air. It's got the AS3X, so it's got stabilization. Uh, and it's got bailout features. So if you're upside down and you don't know what you're doing, you can just hit a button and it'll flip it over and level you out. Well, I got a Dean's connector soldered on there because the two 3S's that I have that will work with this are Dean's and I don't really feel like changing them because a few other vehicles that I have use that same battery. I took the prop off. It's got kind of a cool little way that they did this on this plane. I've not seen this before. Um, so you have that right there and that slips onto the motor shaft. And then as everything gets put on here, like this, and your prop, and then you have a big nut right there, and then this goes over top with this in the front of it. But when you tighten all this down, it actually makes these things compress, and that's what grabs the prop shaft. Kind of a neat little system. I've not seen it before. It seems like it'll work well. And you don't have to worry about grub screws or anything like that. So that's kind of cool. Hey guys, Nomus RC again. I want to take you through Open TX programming to the Horizon Valiant. It's a really nice, uh, inexpensive plane that has AS3X safe mode. It is a high wing, as you can see. Decent sized prop, decent sized brushless motor. And that's actually my first airplane that I've ever had that has flaps. So that's going to be kind of neat. I haven't flown it yet, so I'm just kind of doing all my pre-flight checks here and I got all the programming done. Um, so, let's walk through it. But anyway, I set it up, you know, the screen high, I want it in the widgets and stuff like that. But, we want to come in here and we want to name it. And then we can set your, this is where you set your timer, right here. And then... I set the protocol, which is the beauty of OpenTX. Uh, you can just literally pick what signal that you want to use. You can link up to any receiver, almost known to man, with one radio. Uh, so really, really cool option there. So let's jump right into it. So first thing that I did, just like with my with all my vehicles in this radio, I first thing I do is I figure out what switches do I want and what do I want them to do? So we know that the vehicle's got flaps, ailerons, elevator, rudder, and then throttle. So, we come in here and I set a button to reset the timer. And then for flap up and flap down, Flap up and flap down, and then I set a 
siren sound for when I bail myself out, if I get into a bad situation to level the plane out. So as you can see, the override channel three, negative 100, that's engine to off. that's to shut my engine off. Uh, and as you off. can see, if we have the engine on a little bit, We can just disable that engine, you know, and that's for when it's on the ground and uh, we're about to start taxing and maybe we need to adjust something small. You want to make sure that that engine's off because that prop is extremely sharp. So that's what we have set up for our sounds. Um, then we can start moving along here. We figure out if we need anything reversed. So not really anything special on our mixes. Uh, when you set up the model, it's going to ask you certain things like what channel is your is your motor on, and you're going to say channel three. What channels your ailerons? You're going to say channel, you know, one, and it's going to ask you how many ailerons you have, and you can select one, uh, two ailerons with one Y cable, uh, and same with the flaps. You can say two flaps with one Y cable, uh, and then you tell it what channel, and you know pretty much the way that all things are set up uh, default because it's kind of been the way it's been used for a long time is aileron, elevator, throttle, and rudder. So channel 1, channel 2, channel 3, channel 4. Um, but anyway, that's that's uh, that stuff's all set up. So we just had to add these and we just left them all at default. And then we also needed to come into, and then we also needed to come into our inputs, uh, and we needed to add these four. And again, we left all those at default. And when you do that, that's it. Planes are super easy. Once you set up your switches and you figure out uh, what you want, and then you. Uh, do the basic setup that the radio walks you through uh, for creating a model, and that's it. Planes are super easy. All right, guys. As always, subscribe below and comment, like. Uh, if you have questions, post them down in the comments.